everybody. Um, today I thought we would do something a little bit different. So what I'd like you to do is to go into your kitchen and find two tins of something. It could be garbanzos, it could be tomatoes, whatever, but two tins because we're going to do some weight work today. Today we're going to work on our balance, on our arms and on our legs. And of course, we will do some abdominal work as well, but the focus will be on our arms and our legs. So you might wanna just pause the video and go and get yourself a couple of tins or a couple of small bottles of water, or if you have weights, go and get some weights, okay? All right. So we're going to start with our roll downs as we usually do. So give me some good posture. Weight evenly over the big toe, the little toe and the heels. Shoulders, of course, are back and down. We've got our elongation. We've got our rib to hip connection. Our spine is in neutral. And we're just going to take two deep breaths. And again, through your ribs. And let's go down on this one. Breathing into prepare, T-zone, and down we go. As usual, we're peeling our way down that brick wall. Breathe into prepare, breathe out. T-zone is on, really connect your abdominals. And let's do two more in your own time. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Make sure those abdominals are on, the knees are soft. Just warming up the spine, breathe in to prepare. T-zone and breathe out. Head is heavy and the last thing to come up. And again, breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Down we go. Right. Okay, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. T zone is on. Click, 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 click. And the head is the last thing to come up. Okay, so we're going to start with some balance work. Now, with this balance work, I want you to keep your, think about your, your, uh, hip bones as being headlights. I want them to face forward. I don't want you to hitch your body. I want to keep it really straight. So I might turn around to just make sure we're, we're doing it correctly. So in the first instance, give me, some good, give me some good posture. Your hands can be on your hips if you need to check your hips. They can be out, they can be down, whatever is best for you. Okay, so we're going to put our weight slightly on the one foot but we're going to keep our hips even, okay? And all I want you to do is breathe in to prepare, breathe out, lift and down, lift and down. Keep going. Really make sure that you're not hitching your hips. Your hips are straight. They're not like this, they're straight. Keep going. Shoulders are relaxed. Your this knee might be slightly bent if that works for you. If you want to challenge yourself, you can take the leg higher without shifting your hips. Yeah? Two more. One, two. Okay, just put your foot down for a second and have a, have a rest. Okay, now this time I'm going to do the next part of the exercise facing forward just to make sure that you're understanding what I'm saying. Now, well, can you see me on the, I'm not sure you can see my feet there, but we'll just work with that because, you know, we're working under special conditions. So um, again, what we're going to do is we're going to take our foot out, put your hands on your hips if you need to, or out or down, and we're going to breathe in to prepare, breathe out, take our leg out. Now we're not hitching, no, we're keeping that straight. And what I want you to do is I want you to bend 
that other leg. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Keep going. Really try and keep this all level. Your T-zone is on. That uh, glute muscle is squeezed. If you want to make it harder, take the leg up, but do not arch the back. Okay? It doesn't matter how high your leg is. Two more. One and two. Okay, good work. Okay, let's go to our other leg. So I'll just turn around again. So foot out, give me some good posture. Squeezing the glute muscle on the standing leg. You can keep that leg slightly bent. Keep this all straight and let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Don't hitch your hips. I don't want this. I want it straight. Yeah? Keep your shoulders back and down and relaxed. This is balance. Is your T-zone on? Have you got a lovely elongation in your neck? Give me two more. One and two. Okay, good. Just have a bit of a rest. We're now going to go to our bending. So I'm going to stay here for this. Um, you might find that it's easier to do this off your mat. If you want more of a challenge, do it on your mat. Okay, so let's go. Breathing in to prepare. Breathing out, lift the leg up and bend and up and bend and up. Keep going. Just try to breathe normally. Don't hit your hips. Make sure your headlights are facing forward. Give me three more. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Okay. All right. So um, you should be feeling that in your glute. We're going to do one more. In, the, um, in this position. I think I'm going to go onto the mat. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay here because I know you can't see my feet, but you know we're fa the feet are facing forward. I can't do everything, unfortunately, with the space that we have. Okay, so the way this one's going to work, I'll do it on this leg. I'll do it on the left leg to start with. So we're going to take our leg out we're going to turn the foot out into our Pilates posture and then we're going to circle it around and then we're going to take it forward. Yeah, Keep those hip bones forward. So we're at our drinking bird position. Your hands can be here, they can be here, they can be here. Whatever helps you with your balance. Okay, breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, take it around and down. Okay? All right, let's do the other leg. I might have to move over because I haven't got a lot of room here. Um, let me see how I go. All right, so give me some good posture. Whew. T zone's on. Leg is out. Turn the foot out into Pilates posture and circle it around and then take it forward. And what I want you to do, I'm just going to pick this up a bit. I want you to bend and straighten three times. Two, three, and bring it round. Okay, well done. All right, so that's our balance for today. I have to make sure I'm good with the time because my timing is not fantastic. All right, so I want you to... Um, Pick up your weights, so we're going to do some, some weight work now. Uh, and I want you to take your arms out with your thumbs facing upwards. Okay, your thumbs are facing upwards. So, up, yeah, your thumbs are facing up. So again, give me some good posture. T-zone is on, feet are hip width apart, parallel. 
Okay, shoulders back and down. Really try and roll those shoulders out without arching your back. And now let's just lift our arms up and down, up and down. That's all we're doing, yeah? We're just lifting out. It's not a big movement, but I want you to keep your arms in the T shape and at shoulder height, okay? Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep them back and down because we don't want them creeping up around our ears as we get tired. Again, I tend to exhale going up when I'm making the exertion. Give me five more. One, two. Are your shoulders still relaxed? Three, four, five. Okay, we're not finished. I want you to do some little circles. Let's go in one direction. Keep, your keep the thumbs still up. Keep the shoulders back and down. Keep the T-zone on. Our back is in neutral position. Give me four more. One, two, three, four. The other way, go backwards. I know it's burning, but it's good for you. You can always put the weights down at any point. Four more. One, two, three, four. Okay, just rest your arms down for a quick break. Okay, so now we're going to take our arms up again. Remember, you can put your weights down at any point, yeah? And you can do it with no weights if you want to. You listen to your body, you know the rule, listen to your body. Okay, so I want you to now take your arms up into a goal post position, a goal post position, yeah? Okay, and we're just going to go up and down. So, breathing in to prepare, breathing out, and down. Push up, pull down, push up, Pull down, push up, pull down. Empuja, tira. Not sure if that's right in Spanish, but you know what I mean. Up and down, up and down. Okay, I don't want you to come down to here. I want you to come to the same level, to your goal post positions. Keep your shoulders back and down. Keep going. Is your T-zone on? Keep that neutral position. I don't want your back arching. Give me four more. One, two, three, and four. Not sure about the counting there. Okay, keep your arms up. Keep your arms up. Now, keep your arms up, unless you really need to put them down or the weights down. Okay, now we're going to go forward. One and out, two, and bring it back. Shoulders are back and down. Keep your arms high. Keep going. Shoulders are back and down. T-zone is on. Yes, I know your arms are burning. I know, but it's so good for you. Okay, I'm going to be kind. Four more. One, two, three, four. Okay, have a little rest. Okay, we're going to go back up with our arms. Give them a bit of a round. Yep, okay, we're ready to go again. We're going to take them up into the T shape, so up we go. This time I want your thumbs to be down, yeah? Your thumbs are down. Okay, shoulders back and down. Okay, thumbs are down and lift up. Lift up. It's not a big movement. I want you to keep your shoulders really, try and keep them relaxed even though I know your arms are probably burning. Feel that V shape in the back of your neck, the back of your back, not your neck. Your neck is long and relaxed. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Give me four more. One, two, 
three, four. Stay there, stay there. Now I want you to rotate. 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 The whole arm, not just your wrist. Yeah, the whole arm. Keep your arms up if you can. Keep your shoulders back and down. Keep your T-zone on. Keep going. Four more. One, two, three, four. Okay, and give yourself a rest. Okay, I think that's probably enough for now. So let's come down to the floor. I'll bring my notes with me. I wouldn't want to miss anything. Okay, so um, we know the drill. We're going to be as elegant as we can. Arms folded and slowly coming down to the floor as elegantly as possible. Just because we have worked our arms, let's just stretch our arms out. So, oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. You know you've worked your arms. You probably are going to feel it tomorrow if you haven't uh, done a lot of weight work. Oh, that's good. Okay, and take it over. Take it over behind your back. Good. And other side. Oh, I can feel that. Oh, feels so good. I love that feeling when you feel like you've really used your muscles. But again, knowing that there is a difference between pain and a muscle just working, yeah? Okay, and take it behind. Reaching that hand down the back. Okay, good. So we're going to just do a little bit of abdominal work and then we're going to work on our legs. So let's start with... Let's just start with our bridge to start with. Um, so give me some good posture. Your shoulders are heavy on the mat. Your knees are parallel, hip distance apart, um, palms facing down, long neck, rib to hip connection, but we're in our, in our neutral position, so we've got our cup of tea. Okay, so let's just give, just give me some normal bridge. So breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, squeeze the bottom, tilt the pelvis, and up we go. Take a breath up there. And roll it down, vertebrae by, by vertebrae, okay? Readjust if you need to. Let's go again. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Squeeze the glute up through the spine. Click, 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 click until we're in a lovely long line. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Down we go. Love this too. Okay, give me one more. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Squeezing those glute muscles. Okay, stay up there for me. Okay, we're just going to do our knee fallouts. So breathe in to prepare. Squeeze and knees are out, knees are in. Knees are out knees are in. Okay, keep going. I want you to really squeeze those glute muscles, yeah? You're just rolling onto the outside of your feet, but your feet are not coming off the floor. Try and keep up as high as you can. Try and keep this balanced. Oh, your glutes like that, don't they? Oh yes, they like that. They like it so much they want to do four more. One. Two, are you breathing? Three, four, stay up there. I want some little pulses, let's go. One, two, we're gonna do eight. Three, squeeze, four, squeeze, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, breathe in to prepare. 
breathe out and roll it down. Oh, that is good. Okay, all right, so let's take our legs out. Uh, and take our arms out. But again, when you take your arms out, I don't want you to do this, yeah? Remember, you've got that rib to hip connection. Okay, now let's just um, roll up. You can roll up from this position. We're just going to do three roll ups and downs. So breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. And stretch it over and breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Really try and fill every vertebrae, breathe in to prepare, breathe out. And again, breathe in to prepare, breathe out. And stay there. Okay, we're going to do our leg circles, but we're going to do our leg circles in a slightly different way. So, with our leg circles, we take it up here and we turn our foot out. We're going to do the same thing, but I want you to bend this leg and I want you to take it out to off your mat, yeah? So your leg is bent and it's off your mat. And then we're going to take our other leg up, okay? So remember, this leg is off your mat. It's on the floor. It's off your mat. Okay, turn your leg out. Give me some good posture. Make sure those shoulders are heavy on the floor. And we're going to go towards the leg to start with. Okay, so make sure that foot's turned out. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Down and up. Down and up. Keep going. Is your T-zone on? Is your foot rotated? Try to keep this leg still, yeah? You're using your abdominals to do this exercise, so really feel your T-zone is on. Okay, let's go the other way. Four more. And that's three, I think, and four. Okay, well done. Just bring that leg in. Good. And let's go the other side. Okay, so you're going to take this leg out now. It's going to be bent and off the mat, off the mat. Hands are down. We're going to take this leg up. We're still uh, in the neutral position. Our T-zone is on. We're turning our leg out into our Pilates posture. So our toe is out. Shoulders are heavy on the mat. Breathe in to prepare. T-zone on. And round we go. Again, remember, the circles don't have to be that big. They can be just this. If you find that your pelvis is rocking, your circles are too big. Yeah, if you want to challenge yourself, take it, make it bigger. So it's like a whoosh, stop, whoosh, stop. Two more. And go the other way. Now make sure that your this leg is not moving. You are not rocking. Two more. and bring it in, okay. So again, we want everything to be stable in that, um, when we're doing that. Okay, so remember, um, remember the other day, let's just come up. Remember the other day, I might just see if I can move this back a bit so you can see me a bit better. Um, when we did, we did this exercise, yeah, and then we went down and we went up, okay. Let's start by doing two of those, and then we're going to do the teaser, okay? So let's just see how we go. So let's, let's get into our rolling like a ball position. 
because I know you love that too. Uh, and let's take it out to a T, uh, to our tabletop position. Hands are behind our knees. Okay, so let's just roll down, breathe in to prepare. Shoulders back and down, T-zone on. And down we go, slowly, slowly, slowly. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. And up we come, let's go again. If, if you actually push your legs into your hands, that can make it easy when you're coming up, okay? Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Breathe in to prepare, T-zone on, and up we come. Okay, just pop your legs down for a moment. So this time what I want you to do is I want you to let go of your legs if you can. So we're going to do it with our arms out. So let's see how we go. So come back into your rolling like a ball position. Legs out to, to, to a tabletop. Hands out. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, and up we come. Keep your legs glued together. Let's do it again. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, down we go. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Let's do one more. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Okay, good. Um, we might leave that there because uh, the next class will do the whole teaser, but I think that's probably enough to keep us going at the moment. So we're now going to do some work on our legs. So I want you to come up onto your knees. You know this, um, you know some of these exercises, but we're going to add a few more things. Okay, so we've got our, our uh, knees hip width apart. Uh, you can keep your, I don't want your heels together, I want you to take your heels apart so that you've really got some stability here. Okay, and we're going to do our hinge. So I'm going to turn around so that we can, so you can see what um, I'm doing. All right, so in the first instance, we're going to breathe in to prepare, breathe out, and then come back. Okay, now when we come back, I want you to really push your hands down towards your legs. Okay, are you ready? Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Push back down. Keep going. Again. Keep going. Shoulders back and down. Your T-zone is on. Keep going, we're going to do four more. Two. Three. And four. Okay, so the body is in a straight line going back. All right, this time, I'll just move back this way. This time we're actually going to, we're going to push just our right hip and our right arm out. So when we go back, we're going to go, uh, we're going to go back and then we're going to push our left side out and then push our right side out. Okay, let me show you this way to make it, to see if that's clearer for you. Okay. So, breathing in to prepare. Breathe out. Right comes up. 
down, left comes up, back, right comes up, back, left comes up. Keep going. Make sure your shoulders are back and down. I want you to go straight back and then push that hip up. Yeah? Push your hand as you go. Keep your shoulders back and down. You are using your, your thighs and you're using your bottom as well. Give me two more. Give me one more. And the other side. Okay, did that feel good? I thought you might like that. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to come down onto the floor and um, I'll go this way. I want you to take your knees a bit wider than they, they would be normally and I want you to take your hands back, okay? I'm very aware that you can't see all of my body, but go with me. Okay, so our knees are, our knees are a bit wider. Yeah, and we're going to take it back. Uh, my hands are in this position, okay? So we're going to breathe in to prepare, breathe out and lift up and then come down, okay? Keep the shoulders back and down. I don't want this happening. I want a lovely elongation with your back. So try and keep your shoulders back and down and extended. Okay, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, and down. In, and down. Keep going. Just check that your neck is not going backwards. I don't want that. But equally, I don't want that, yeah? Try and keep your neck in line with your body, okay? So you're squeezing your glutes, you're stretching out your hip flexors, and you are really stretching your quad muscles. Give me two more. One more. And just come up for a minute. Um, we're going to go back down and do something um, again with that. Uh, just roll out your wrists. You shouldn't be putting too much pressure on your wrists, but um, just be, be kind to, to your wrists, okay? If that's too tough, you can try and put your fists down, but it probably won't work as well. Okay, so let's go back. Are you ready? So let's go back into this position. So our hands are just behind our feet. We are going to breathe in to prepare. We're going to come up. And now I want you to lift that right knee and to do some little circles. Some little circles with your right knee. Just give me three, two, one. Other way, four, Three, two, one. Okay, come back. That is a toughie, isn't it? So what you're doing, just, just so I'm really clear, you're, you're with your knee, you're, you're making circles, yeah? You're making circles in case you can't see that. Okay, you should be really feeling this in your, your thighs now. So let's, um, let's do the other side, okay? All right. So, give me some good posture, taking it back, yeah, shoulders are back, yeah, good, nice extension, T-zones on, and let's breathe in to prepare, breathe out, take it up, and let's lift that left leg and do some little circles, yeah, four, three, two, one the other way, four, three, two, one, and bring it 
back. Okay, well done. All right, so let's just take our legs out um, and we'll just do some stretching in a different way. So um, we do, we'll do our spine stretch just so we've actually got a bit of a different direction for our spine. So with our feet, feet are flexed, feet are hip width apart. So hip width apart. Um, again, put your hands just behind you, no weight on your hands, no weight. But I want you to just lift yourself up. Yeah, I want you to feel long. Feel long, feel stretched through here. Okay, and now let your hands go and you're still as long as you were before. Okay, so we're going to breathe in to prepare. We're going to breathe out and take it forward. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out and roll it Okay, breathe in to prepare, breathe out, suck it back and take it forward. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out and roll it up. Shoulders are relaxed. Let's do two more. Breathe in to prepare, bring it back and bring it forward. Breathe in to prepare and roll it up another one last one breathing to prepare shoulders back and down and down we go breathing to prepare and bring it up okay good let's stay in that position but let's do some rotation oh i'm sweating are you sweating it's very hot today and i've got those windows closed bad move on my part or I might just go this way so you can see me again this time keep your feet together but still flexed not pointed flexed and your hands are going to go behind your head uh, you can still still see your elbows in your peripheral vision they're not right back here but they're not here either they're here okay so again give me some beautiful posture Feet upright, hands behind, lock your hands to make it easier. Okay, shoulders back and down. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out, rotate and come back in. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out and back. Let's speed that up a bit. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Keep going, just check that your feet are not moving. Okay, we want this to be coming from your waist. Let's do two more each side. T-zones on. Last one, and okay, well done. All right, we might just do our saw to finish off this little series of stretches because you deserve the stretches. So with the saw, our legs are about the width of your mat uh, and your feet are flexed, okay? So, just about the width of your mat, not off your mat, just the width of your mat. Arms are out in a T position. And shoulders are back and down, of course, and you've got your beautiful posture. Give me some length. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out. Rotate. And saw that top toe off. And coming back. Breathe in to prepare. T-zone on. Rotate and look towards that back hand yeah keep going are you breathing make sure you rotate before you go down okay keep going
Okay, let's do one more each side. And good. All right. Uh, let's come down and take one leg out. Sorry, the camera angle is pretty terrible today. I hope you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm sure you can. Okay, so with this exercise, we've got one foot in on our thigh. The other foot is flexed. We're going to breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, rotate, and bring it down. Again, just stay there. The idea is to get your, your chest onto your thigh, not your head onto your knee. Okay, just give me two breaths. Give me two more breaths and just see if you can sink down a bit lower on the exhalation. Relax into it. Good, breathe in. And gently coming up. And let's go to the other side. Okay, okay. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out rotate and down. I find that one side is usually much easier than the other. I feel like I've got a bit more flexibility on this side because we tend to be a bit uneven generally. Just relax into it. On the exhalation, try and take the leg down further. Really try and breathe into your ribs through, the, through your back and consciously try to relax down on your exhalation. Give me two more breaths. Last one. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out and good. Okay, let's come into our standing position in the most elegant way that you can and we are going to finish off with our roll downs okay oh I feel stretched you might find you have a little bit of muscle soreness tomorrow um Uncle Jefas, maybe let me know how you go all right so give me some good posture breathe in to prepare breathe out Okay, now let's just stay down there and I want you to stretch one leg out and then the other leg out. One leg out, then the other leg out. And if you can, stretch both legs out. But only if you can, only what your body can do. Okay, soften the knees, breathe in to prepare, breathe out. T-zone is on, head is the last thing to come up. And again, breathe in to prepare, breathe out. Oh, I feel stretched. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out. And the last one, make it a good one. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, T-zone's on. Breathe in to prepare, T-zone on, and let's bring it home. Click, 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 click. Okay, well done. Okay, so we worked our thighs, we worked our arms. A bit different to um, what we usually do, but variety is the spice of life, as we say in English. Um, let me know how you go with that. If you feel like you need to do a bit more stretching in your legs, uh, do that too. Okay, and I will see you next week. Okay, bye.